How hard is it to learn the DevOps technology stack? I mean, listen, dude, I'm going to be real with you. If you do exclamation mark DevOps in chat, you're going to see this big mamma jam and map. There's this thing out here called the DevOps roadmap. This is just like a DDoS of technology to the brain. If you want to start with some of this technology, I don't know, man. I, it's hard to say, like, I don't want you to follow this by heart. If you're talking about just the technical sides of it, I think experience is going to be your biggest beneficiary there. If you're interested in the tech, just jump into the tech. But DevOps isn't just tech. It literally can just overwhelm you for sure. The biggest thing I think in DevOps that you should enjoy is the problem solving part of it. As a company, how do I solve this problem and what technologies can we use to get there? That is really what my job is. And there are basic principles in some regards that you can kind of consider, but it depends on the size of the company. It depends on the goals of the company and the problems that lie with that. I would say the only thing that is consistent is really that it's a practice and it's used as a practice to solve problems at a company. But that practice isn't standardized, which is ironic because we do standardization in DevOps. But the reality of it is, is DevOps itself is not standardized. It's very much based off of where you're at, what problems you're dealing with. Can you give some examples? How do our engineers develop? What languages are they using? What tools are they using locally? Are we providing a good ecosystem for them to be able to develop in? Like that whole first developer problem, that is a DevOps thing that you deal with at a company, making sure your developers are efficient. The local development experience, the packages, the languages, the ecosystem, like all that stuff. Once you've got that solved for, or at least somewhat solved for, then you can focus on infrastructure and deployment. How do we start releasing that code? How do we plug in the developer experience that we created into the experience? experience that we want for deployments and infrastructure. And so then we plug those two in together because that's the point of DevOps is it's not, okay, we did this one thing here. Now let's just throw out the other one in the window. The DevOps team is really supposed to be the glue of the company in a lot of ways for technical purposes. Once you glue the developers basically to their deployment cycles and their deployment schemes, then at that point you have code being made and contributed. And then you also have that code being automatically built, tested, whatever, and then deployed to your cloud provider or whatever. So those two problems are so general and yet so vast and so different in how we solve those problems. It would be difficult for you to find two companies that do the same thing. Third one would be cost. I, I would say even maybe before that is scale. At that point, you know, you're, you're spending money, you've got stuff in the cloud. So again, developers, deployments, scaling that. And then the last one, I think the last one should pretty much always be cost because cost is something that you really can't reflect upon unless you know how much we're full spending until you know that entirely it's really hard to be able to be like all right let's do cost savings it's like are we done changing stuff yet and it's like no it's like all right well let's wait till we're done changing stuff and then we'll talk about costs basically i don't have an opinion about code and that's fair I'm fine with that because I'm not the developer in that regard. I can have an opinion about how we manage the code in the sense of like where folders are or structure standardizations and things like, but I can't walk in and be like, yo, we got to do this in Rust. As a DevOps engineer, they would just look at me and be like, who the f are you? Which is fair. Now, if I walk into the conversation, I say, listen, guys, you guys have got a lot of memory leaks. We are constantly having flaky, like that's where I come in. Because then as an engineer, DevOps engineer, I walk in and I say, we have a set of standards that your tests are not meeting. And because your tests are not meeting those standards, we're dealing with issues where they're failing. Again, I don't really talk about code, but anything related to it, deployment, development environment, all that kind of stuff. That's really what DevOps does.